we cannot say that a particular season or a particular month, if it was unusual, was definitely down to climate change. It's not possible because there is chaos in the atmosphere. The satellites, they play the key role on providing the global picture. So they provide satell the satellite data on a very large scale. The first orbit is the geostationary orbit, located 36,000 kilometers. You look always on the same location of the Earth, but the visibility of the pole is missing. So for that, another type of satellite has been developed. These are the polar satellites. When they are flying from pole to pole, the Earth is also turning around. So at the end of the day, you have possibility to uh, view the complete Earth. What we're really interested in doing is trying to find out how the weather has varied over the long term. So we know an awful lot about present day weather from you know all the satellite data and all the other data that comes streaming into the Met Office. But if we have a big storm or something like that people are going to sit there and say well is this just the sort of weather that turns up from time to time? Is this a change in the world? Is this some sort of climate change? So it's really useful to be able to compare weather, particularly exciting weather like storms or droughts flooding with historical records. A proof of the change is a long-term, statistically significant change. So one event, one occasion, doesn't really provide that statistical significance. Many of these events give a hint, and eventually if you have too many, for instance, all the summers get hotter, then you have statistically, mathematically proven record that the climate is, is changing.